part called the contendings of Horus and Set. Uh, wherever you want to go. The contendings of Horus and Set. And in there, uh, uh, well, there's a chair here if you want to or whatever. In here, in here, in the contendings of Horus and Set, they talk about an ancient trial. But it's interesting now, as so, the, uh, the devil in here, which is the doggone white boy, he loses the trial. Just as on uh, August the 3rd of 1995, he lost the trial because, number one, that's 10 and 3, which is 13, which is his unlucky number in the first damn place. But anyway, he lost the trial. But in the back of the book, they said that he begged the people, he begged the gods. When the devil loses, he said, no, I want a second trial. Now, what are, the, what are the odds of that shit? Say, I want a second trial, which he ends up losing anyway. So it don't necessarily mean that if he, it doesn't necessarily mean that O.J. is going to win the trial. But what it does mean is that basically, uh, basically, this second trial is showing you that this beast is so much of a beast that he can't forget a certain amount of things. Now, in, in 1936 or 35 or 36, they had another crime of the century where they uh, killed this white boy, that, that Jew boy, for the Lindbergh baby. Now they, and all of a sudden, now they brought this movie out, The Crime of the Century, and where the white boy literally killed this person because they needed somebody, and because he was this Jew person that they didn't like. Now, isn't it funny that, 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 that almost, what, 60 years later, they would have another trial, you see what I'm saying, of the same magnitude, and call it the trial of the century, and that was called the crime of the century. You see, very, very cheated, and, and, and nothing is by chance when they do certain amount of things like that. Nothing is by chance. But isn't it funny how these people cannot bring themselves to believe that this man is innocent? You see what I'm saying? It's innocent. They, and basically, they, they, the reason why they can't bring, them, bring themselves to believe this man is innocent is because they can't bring themselves to believe that they're so arrogant to say that no one could ever plant evidence. Although they can make movies about their white boys and little children getting planted and getting framed by the police, but a black man can't be framed. That's what you're talking about, a sociopathic type of, uh, type of, 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 of incident. Now, the key to this thing is that we've got new evidence that's actually going on, and the new evidence is that what you're dealing with here is that the main person that was involved in the killing was actually Cato Kalin. This is new shit. Cato Kalin is the one that gave him the gloves, gave him the boots, and gave them all the stuff. You see what I'm saying? Uh, 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 and also we understand that uh, he, he did this particular information. He gave him this particular information for the simple fact that he was planted there in the get-go to do the whole nine yards and, and cooperate with the police. That's how they knocked on the door. He's the one that put the bloody sock in the living room. Cato Kalin is the biggest part of this thing. But what the government did and what they do to fool you, they made Cato Kalin as he's this dunce, this homeless house fella. You see what I'm saying? That's just like this valley boy that's stupid. See, they always do this to throw you off. See, that's what they did when they, 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 they give you a, a Bill Clinton. They say he's stupid and all this kind of thing, and they do this stuff to throw you off. You see what I'm saying? So, they, so you're thinking, okay, okay, oh, he's a so stupid homeless person. He's the main person around this thing. So like I said before, they released the movie The Chase, uh, The Chase, and which, which, which we have to go in and, um, which we have to go in and you need to go to the public library and you need to find out, uh, you look on the Friday edition. You look on the Friday edition, let's say somewhere around June or uh, April. And you need to find out when was the movie The Chase, when was the movie The Chase that starred, uh, what's his name, Charlie Sheen. You need to find out when did this movie actually come out because this particular movie came out, I think, a month before the actual chase scene of the Bronco. You see what I'm saying? And a month before, Nicole died. You see what I'm saying? And then what happened? Well, he's being chased, and they got the TV cameras and all this, and then what happened? They say, well, um, uh, he said, I was accused of something I didn't do. I was an innocent person. He said, what happened? He said, but they accused me, and I got time, because they, they expected um, O.J. Simpson to get time. That was the guards that intervened. He said, I got time because I had a cut on my hand, and they took the DNA from the cut on my hand and convicted me. Now, what are the odds? It's no coincidence. What are the odds of they having this movie come out, and he's getting convicted with the cut on his hand, and they got the chase scene in the movie cameras, which the movie came out. How can they, this cracker can take a movie and actually make a movie of what he's going to do a month before, release it a month before, and then do the exact same thing the next month? You see what I'm saying? So he did this, and uh, in, the, in, in, in this particular movie, what makes this movie authentic is... 
that who was supposed to be the best man at Charlie Sheen, the star of this movie's wedding? Cato Kalen. See what I'm saying? So now the movie goes out of just a theory type thing and you just putting two and two together to a reality that it was a setup from the get-go. And Cato Kalen is the doggone key. You see what I'm saying? On side of he was um, screwing around with the coal and stuff, you know. But hell, she screwed Faye Resnick and all this kind of shit. So who the fuck is she? You know what I'm saying? And all this type of stuff. So the whole thing was set up. And so that movie, The Chase, also there's certain things that you got to understand in investigative reporting. Another movie, Natural Born Killers, came out the same, it came out about a month, a month or three weeks after the killing came out like the 1st of August. You go to the, you know, go to the periodicals and you get the newspaper periodicals and you can go to the movie section to find out when is the release dates of The Chase and uh, of Natural Born Killers. So it, it came out around August. Now, it's interesting about this movie, we would not even ever have thought about this movie because when I saw the movie, I saw the movie when it first came out and it didn't register until I saw the movie on cable about a month ago. Now here's a movie that comes out in August, a month after the, 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 the killing. He hadn't even gone to trial yet, but yet they will flash his picture along with Charles Manson's picture. Now wait a minute, we can't, so most of the people will look, and so people will look now and say, oh, they got OJ up there, and they're not knowing, they don't know about the release date. Now it's funny if the movie came out this year and they did it, you understand what I'm saying? Because we know they're bitter about the trial. But how are you going to put this man as a mass murder up against Charles Manson? You understand what I'm saying? Uh, uh, oh, the brother fell out. Oh, man. Let's see what happened. I think I, the brother fell out back there. Huh? Is he out? Cut your tape for a minute. Is he all right? Let the brother sit down. He might have just got dizzy from standing up. Or then again, it might be the energy, too. That, hmm? Yeah, you need, you need to go outside, brother? Are you all right? You, you, think, it's, you think it's because of it? You're standing up? It's, you know... Yeah. You might have just, you know, sometimes when you stand up like that, you know, hell, I get weak like that, too. You know. You know, you know, or whatever. Get you some water or whatever. Then come on back, brother. You know. You see, if you, if you want to go outside, you want to come back or whatever, you know. Yeah, that's, you know, sometimes standing up like that, you know. Just, you know. Or you can get a brother seat, whatever. Or you can cut it back on. We, you cut it back on. You got it back on? So what I'm trying to say here is, what are the odds of them convicting this man and putting him against, the magnitude of putting him against doggone Charles Manson before the trial even started? You see what I'm saying? Before the trial even started. The movie Just Cause. So they had the movie Just Cause and both um, Sean Connery and uh, the guy Blair Underwood argued that no, we didn't do this movie based on the O.J. Simpson trial because the book was written in 1982. Right? 1992. Right, but we understood that the whole thing, the O.J. Simpson thing was nothing but a trial basis that spurned and it was the second part of the Rodney King verdict in 1992. So if they went to work on this book, you got to understand that all these movies came out at the same time, and that's a whole system that they got, basically trying to undermine black life in America. Because one thing about black life, up until recently, black people was the moral authority of America, period. Even white people, if they say, well, we can't get shit to stick now as we put some Negroes in it. You see what I'm saying? Because we went to church more than anybody else. So... They, so the key is, is to make the black person this particular freak, so therefore they can do what the hell they want to do with black people in the future. You see what I'm saying? So this is interesting, uh, this, this particular interesting, but the movie, uh, uh, the, the, the movie, uh, The Chase, the movie The Chase is the movie that you need to see, which is documenting that, that the whole... Uh, Cato Kalin, which, which was the best friend of Charlie Sheen, was all in on this movie. And that was the key movie to let you know on what they were going to do. They came around again, so they're always testing the market. So they came around again last year, we're just doing some recap, and, the, and, and they said, well, now we know we got black people. Because they did something last year that was the most advanced and most, the most major, uh, the most advanced thing that they could ever do. And that was to release the movie Outbreak one week 
and two weeks later they actually have the, the outbreak of Ebola. Now what are the odds of that? And nobody even questioned it. So they do these to have a reaction from most of the people because most of the people are not in consciousness. That's why, that's why you got to understand the beauty of the brothers and sisters that's in consciousness is it, it goes beyond.